guys, welcome to Maturity, where we may not always be mature, but we will always be giving you the tea, honey. One question, well, I would say a question if I was young, would be like, where do I find these guys? Not guys. Oh, not, that's not guys, but you know, no, the no, potential. No, no. Potentials. We know what you meant, girl. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. He's like the love guru. He's quite short. He's British. I think he used to date Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift? Oh, damn it. No Something idea. No idea. You threw me off Hughes? with Taylor Swift. Oh, I'll find out. Advices and stuff. Especially when it comes to texting. You know, this, some of the questions are like, he hasn't messaged me um, for a couple of weeks and he's messaging now. How do I approach it? Or he's giving me a one-liner. How do I approach this? How to kind of start the conversations? Because like, it's quite hard to know what that person likes or you don't want to overstep. It's so calculated. Why is it always so calculated? That's my question. Like, we have to think about when this guy messaged, wait a couple of hours, you can't message back quickly, you know, and all of the kind of stuff. It's like very meticulously calculated. Why? That's I have so no much idea. freaking work. I know, is that so really much how work. it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, girl. But why are we, ladies, entertaining people that don't message back? I know. Have a plan B, C, D, E, F, G. Mm-hmm. They're not responding. Okay, they're not interested. If they respond later, why did you take forever to text me? Yeah, exactly. Like, why can't we just have these conversations? It's not that it's easy. It's awkward. Where they gonna, okay, so what's what's the worst that's going to happen? They're going to not message you because you're a bit forward? Great. You don't message either, babes. Yeah. They see it as you're being too easy. I don't know why. It's just like every message that comes across means something. Can I just be honest? <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we just be Say honest it, here? Girl. <laughs> if If they're going to judge you, Okay, 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 okay. Let me just let me just get something let me just get something on the table. Okay. <laughs> if he likes you, he will text you. And if he's too shy to text you, he doesn't like you enough or he's just not your the person for you because you That's don't want true. someone waiting on you. But if the guy likes you, he will text you. Yeah. And if he's not texting you because he's shy, that's a him problem and not a you problem. Yeah. Why are you stressing over that? You have a plan B. You keep it moving. It's yeah. so much easier said than done, I get. But who wants a man that's not that that can't that's not confident enough to text you when they are thinking about you? Yeah. And if they're not texting you, but they still like you, they don't like you enough. That's true. Because if you like me enough, you'd be texting me. That's true. If you know what you want, you'd get it. And you know what? Like, I've been married for ten years. Marriage is never perfect, right? It's always mm. compromise. But alhamdulillah, one thing that Amr has done that literally people's jaw that knew him i didn't i didn't know him like that at the time obviously but people who knew him thought he was losing his mind they thought he was going through a mental breakdown when he flew halfway around the world mm. to meet me and surprise me essentially yeah. a girl that he's just we've just been talking very casually on twitter so and he, he never ever like dated like that he never ever flew anywhere for any chick he yeah. was never the type to like chat to a woman so when he did that people thought he lost his marbles like <laughs> they really thought what well, he and you know what his response is i knew what i liked and that's i true. went and got it and i was prepared to get arrested like that's true yeah, he yeah. Stock, literally, literally he's like i was prepared to get arrested arrested i knew it was a very strange thing it's not something i've done before but i i knew what I wanted, and I went and got it. Oh, so I don't go out in there and do that all the time. It doesn't happen every Wednesday, Aww. as he should have. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. No, my point was, I. So then he just showed up to me, and I yeah. was kind of like, "Whoa, okay, this is really sweet, whatever." But people were like, "No, no, no you don't understand. This is not only just sweet. He's never the type. Yeah. He doesn't even talk to chicks. Like he, he, and it, yeah, Allah. like when girls oh, approach him, so he's sort of like whatever. His rationale was like, yeah. Because I knew what I wanted and I went for it. Yeah. So then when you ask him, he's a great person to bring on the podcast, actually, because mm. he'll tell you as it is. Yeah, how men I know. <laughs> but he was literally like, if they wanted to, they would. Yeah. You know what? I'd be interested to ask him, like, how did you feel beforehand? When you were in the plane, did you like, what the heck am he, yeah, I he doing? Was. Yes, he was. <gasps> he's never done this before. He's like, you have to understand, I've never done this yeah. before. I don't even chat with girls oh, like so that. Oh, that's so cute. 
uh especially in his group there's a few of them they're just not that type yeah but he was like you know on the level i really like this girl Aww. and i was willing to risk being weird but also if i really if you want really wanted to you would yeah so people thought he was losing his mind but my point is if you yeah if you they would, want to text would take you they would and if they feel like you you mess messaging them and saying like what the heck happened because maybe they do want to text you but there's a lot going on in their lives that's true but if you're too shy to sort of be forward but I'm about sorry, it, I don't care if you have a lot on your mind or a lot at work. I want that text. <laughs> I don't care. I want it. Every why are you hour waiting around on the hour? Why? Why are you waiting around? I, it's so much easier said than done. I get it, and it's so s- silly coming from a woman that hasn't dated in a decade. I totally get it. But that was my mentality then too. Shh. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, you can't text? You're too busy? Yeah. Okay, I'm too busy too for you. Exactly. Girls, you guys are incredible. You know yeah, how mashallah. lucky, mashallah, these men would be to be with you? I have some friends that I'm like, honestly, I don't... I, like, if I was a dude, I, like, you would be my dream girl. Yeah. Like, these men don't know. And if they do, what the heck? Yeah. And you know what? Yeah, so... And let me just tell you something, okay, girls? Well, tell us. Men don't know the confidence that you give off, the ma- the demands that you want. Okay, I have friends that are actually the Lulu confident. Mm. But when I say they attract everything they want, mm. it doesn't matter what degree they have. It doesn't matter no. yeah. what they look like. It does not matter. The confidence is what gets you there. Mm-hmm. What would a confident woman do? She'd be like, yo, what's up? Why aren't you texting me? 100%. And they like that. Yeah. They like that because you put them in their place. Put them in the, and also, you deserve an answer. Why aren't they texting yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. If, they, if they're intimidated by that, then they're going to be intimidated by a lot more. So just text them back and be like, why yeah. aren't you texting me? If they're even worth your time. Yeah. And you really feel like, no, there's chemistry there. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. She called me out for being not not being like but, yeah. masculine. Like, <laughs> exactly. No, but if they... And that's like a, a communication thing. Yes. First of all, communication is key. Key. So if there's no communication, girl, it's it's so important. If there's no communication the there, if the person, never mind that, if he just is unable to communicate, yeah, to the degree that you need him to, yeah. God is giving you a sign. Yeah, a hundred percent. And there's no joking. perfect man. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. There's th- there's such a thing as compromising. There's no perfect man, but they can come really close because Amri's... Oh, no, that was so sweet. Yeah, he's He like, flew for you, babe. He really did. I, and you know what? I'm, I'm so, like, honestly, I was so dumb. At the time, I did not understand the degree of what was happening. Yeah. Because I was a bit ambushed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, tell us a story for the people who don't know. He, okay, long story short, I was talking to this guy online. Not in the way where you speak to somebody online. It was very, very much very very weird like not he could have been a lesbian i don't know like yeah <laughs> and wait why am i saying yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that happens>. yeah. <laughs> you know like honestly like it wasn't on that level it was just like for knowledge of the show uh didn't care how weird i looked to be honest because i'm never gonna speak to this person again yeah but long story short we were talking for a while we became friends online and it was not even like a facetime thing like just like talking like had a lot of things to say we had a lot in common we'd like the same things just talking online and then we exchanged numbers and we were talking on the phone after a year Mm -hmm. so it wasn't like creepy very natural very like what's the word platonic yeah yeah we talk about islam a lot as well it was really nice. Uh, and then that's it. What, well, the beauty of it is I'm never going to see this dude. Yeah. I have nothing to hide. My friends don't know about him. We've been talking for two years on and off. Like, just like the first yeah. year was n- nothing. Like, just I only knew his name and that he was Muslim. And I was like, oh, wow, me too. Mm. Other than that, the following year when we picked up where left things left off, that's when things we really start to get to know one another. But it was still very friendship based, very mm. friend zoned. And then I realized, oh, this guy's a really nice guy. Whatever. Long story short. He really liked me. I started to l- like him as well. But it was just what it was going to be. That's yeah. it. The guy that I, I'm friends with that lives in the UK. One day I'll visit UK. Maybe we can grab coffee. But then uh, did he? he had other plans. He literally flew down for my birthday. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> and surprised me. Oh, that on your birthday. Yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah, that's wild. 
That's one, so I, I sweet. had two friends, and honestly, it was the funniest thing because one of the friends were like, "Call the cops." <laughs> This is why I don't like men. No, I'm sorry, but what the heck? Who does that? That's so stalker, weird. He's a stalker. <laughs> and the other one's like, Abayo, run to him. No, they don't do this. Well, lie, they don't do this. I'm going to tell you something. That sounds like a real man. Run to him. Abayo, don't listen to Nilab. She doesn't do it. <laughs> they oh was like, no, no, no. No, no, I don't care. That's weird. And I was like, no, guys, I don't feel, I don't feel uncomfortable. I'm jinxed. My mind and my heart is feeling like this is okay. All y'all, collect the girls. Let's go. Yeah. We're meeting up with him. So it was like six girls with one dude. Because I was like, I ain't about to get kidnapped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, we were, that's we had a strategic idea. plan. Like, okay, Yasmin, <laughs> you're really good with the headlock. Yeah. Nilab, if you got nice shoes, take them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> but we did. Ha- we, there was six of us. Yeah, that's good. And the way he just rolled up and the first time he saw me was with six other girls. And he was being vetted. Like, you could, he was like a different species oh, no. from a different planet. You could tell. I go, wow. That's him. It's crazy. We have known nothing about this guy. So how long should I talk to him? Two years? That's crazy. Where's he from? Pakistan? That's crazy. So he's a British accent? Oh, my God. Let me hear it. Shh, 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 shut up. It's coming. <laughs> like, it's literally it's all of us are just sitting there like, hi. <laughs> and he, he's brave. He was brave. Yo, the levels coming to canada getting off the bus and just walking towards a group of girls like yeah what are you here for who are you yeah he handled it like a pro actually now that i think about it i would have been intimidated so intimidated yeah you know (laughs) that's what the girlfriends are there for they were ready they were ready literally they were there the whole time i love that uh and then literally talked to him asked him 100 questions some of them were very rude and some, he well, handled it well. He was so polite. That's good. And they're like, okay, we can't hate him. He sounds like a really nice guy. <laughs> and then he's, and then they're like, okay, so tomorrow we're having dinner. You're coming. You're meeting her sisters. You're meeting the rest of the girls. <laughs> they, they're doing this. Yeah, and he did. They're planning it. Yeah, because it was on my birthday. We, we didn't have a birthday. We didn't have birthday plans. Oh, yeah. He thought we did. He was planning on showing up to the restaurant with flowers. Oh. Are you dumb? Yo, that is a little bit too much. Yo, I would be like. Yo, please leave. Call the police. I'll be right. It's You're right. Cute. I mean, you guys no. have been speaking for two years, but still, yeah, I would have been creeped out. I actually would have been creeped out. <laughs> God knew. Oh Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he knew that if this man showed up with flowers <laughs> at my birthday dinner the next day, I would be like, ick, 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 oh, ick, ick. No. Like, I've never even met him True. in person. Yeah, that's just, it would just be too much for yeah, me. Yeah, or like balloons, big balloons, love balloons. I would be like, flowers. <laughs> Nila! <laughs> Nila! Yeah, boxes, yeah, no. Yeah, I would have been, yeah, very intimidated. His family was literally in shitting shock. bricks. Oh, no. I don't know if we can say that. They were literally freaked out. His mom didn't know. And his brothers and his sister were like, freaking out oh, like no. called him every five minutes yeah are you okay are you arrested are you okay yeah like imagine the, the quiet like mysterious brother yeah. all, all of a sudden who's never done this who's never like dated flies to a different country to meet with a girl that he wants to marry <gasps> so they're like what yo what if it was obviously you're not a catfish but what if he goes there and it's like <laughs> a catfish and it's a guy because he doesn't know yeah. What if it, you know, like, yeah, the what catfish show. Been, like, you know what? I was, when he told me, let's meet up, I'm in the city, surprise, on the phone. And that's when my friends knew f- about him for the first oh. time. I was sort of like, okay, be prepared. He could be a fat catfish for now. Even though mm. I FaceTime him, I did FaceTime mm. him at that point. He still could have been a catfish height wise. Mm. And I'm almost six feet tall, guys. I don't know if you guys know that. I'm almost six feet yeah, tall. Yeah, mashallah, you are tall. So if you're going to catfish me height-wise, it's going to be a little bit of a big deal. Because yeah. I already knew you were my height. Okay, you're in a relationship, guy. You're about to marry him. You're going to be like, let me get that measuring tape. Let me get it exact. If he's the same yeah. height as you, you're going to want to You're gonna want to be like, let me just see. <laughs> Do I have me, to are whack you? Because you? then you can hold it over their head. Like, <laughs> you're not. Or you are. That's you know? true. The one thing he said then, and I didn't know much about men. But one thing he said then to my friends and to everybody that was like what made you want to do it yeah like do you do this often like are you just crazy yeah. are you just a gambler <laughs> like oh well, uh, he was like no <laughs> if you want something you'll get it yeah. you'll go for it 100%. you'll try it uh, and they're like what if you got arrested he's like then i got arrested yeah 
I got arrested trying to marry the girl in my dreams. Exactly. <laughs> Obviously, that he so didn't say cute. that. Way, but yeah, that's that what he wanted cute. to say. <laughs> when did we buy these Timbits? Uh, before yesterday. Should be fine. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. I was in the. No, cl- no, no, no. I got home. I was like, shit. I forgot the Timbits in okay, should be fine, the right? office. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. <gasps> don't. I don't think it will be like. No. Oh, okay. It is even better. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh huh. If you had a chance to live somewhere else, where would it be? It would be a Muslim country. Mm. Possibly somewhere in Africa. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Actually, in Africa, I don't mind paying taxes. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been to Shall Africa. Shall we go together? Yes. That's so funny because Mohammed was asking about it. I was like, yes, wallahi. Was it yesterday? It was either Qatar or Kuwait. Let's go. As a holiday? Yeah. I was like... With the kids. Yeah. Let's freaking go. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Next episode (laughs) will be in Qatar. Yes. Inshallah. Where would I move to? I would move to... I'd move back to Tanzania. Okay, well, she gave it away. Uh, so we're, na- we're going to be moving to Tanzania. And um, inshallah, that's our, that's our plan. Yeah, I would I would move back. Mm-hmm. And I love the people. I love the culture. I don't know. It just makes you so special. Like mm-hmm. going holidays to see my granddad. It's just, it just gives me good memories. Yeah. I just love it there. It makes um, my heart warm. Yeah just love it um yeah because like when you have family there it doesn't feel like holiday it just feels like home but having said what that, are the perks of moving back to tanzania <sighs> the housewife okay the maid. you know what because ain't nobody got time to be folding these clothes okay you know what washing it is? these clothes i have a question for you actually yes what's something you'd never do again if you were filthy rich Ooh. Never, never washing clothes, dishes, anything that. Go! Oh I am so tired of clothes. Yeah, I'm so tired. I am so tired. Babe, of it clothes. gets worse when there's two, babe. Oh my goodness me! I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Wallahi, 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 wallahi. Astaghfirullah! I do not like clothes. Yeah. Why do we have so much clothes? Yo, kids just literally. How do they get so many things dirty? I don't understand. I know. Yes, it like we change his clothes like twice a day, girl, and then they like shrink. So you'll have so to get be like washing more clothes. clothes. But you're yeah. filthy rich, Asha. You can afford anything. What's that? What is that thing that you'd afford? I will get a driver to be driving me everywhere. Yeah. Period. I would be getting a maid to Period. help with everything. And period. What else? Uh, chef. Oh my god, yes, chef. Period. Oh my god, yes. Why didn't I even think period. of that? Chef. Honestly, to take care of everything. Yeah. But I already thought about this. Go on and tell me. <laughs> uh, three nannies. Oh yeah. Yeah. One nanny. It's filthy rich. Oh my god. Let's be honest. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I know this. Yeah. One for Adam. One for Dra. One for me. I'm yeah. <laughs> too well but no. <laughs> so oh yeah <laughs> one for adam one for dua but oh, one that will help the adam and dua one yeah like pre-plan and everything but just filthy rich uh, sky the limit why yes, not exactly three mates because i heard like okay i didn't know this was even a thing until i heard a friend of mine talking about this is what she has and i'm like excuse me really yeah. three maids yeah a house manager. Ooh. So you're low on toilet paper. She writes it down. Golly. She gets it delivered. Who even comes you're up with this? You're low with milk. Don't worry. <laughs> you won't even see it. I'm dying. <laughs> Legit, this is how some people live. Nah, that's too much. How are you going to be thinking about? In gender and shop. Oh, I'm craving diet. I can't. Wait, 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 wait. Can't the maid just tell you you're running low? No, because the maid's busy watching the kids. Oh, okay, 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 gotcha. 
Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Or the nanny's busy. The maid gotcha. prepares the stuff. Gotcha. Okay, she's not a chef, but she prepares things. Yeah. So okay. she gets the laundry done. How long does it take us to just do a couple loads of laundry? Mm. So imagine you can't have her doing everything. Mm. The sky's the limit. I know. House manager. So she restocks the detergent, makes sure everything is neat, makes sure everybody's on time, on schedule. Mm. If the nanny number one's running late, she makes sure that she has Ooh, nanny number wee. two covering, okay? It's a real thing. That's the only what? reason why I know this exists, and this is what Jenna could be like one day. <laughs> because, <laughs> inshallah, inshallah, ya Rab. Because there's people actually living this way. Yeah. Okay? So three nanny. It's funny. Watch one of our viewers actually living this way. They're like, yeah. <laughs> Not everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Not everyone? Why not? Well, maybe just one me. <laughs> House manager, driver, three nannies, maid, but maybe like two, because that way the one maid's not doing everything. Yes. But you definitely, yeah, you definitely need two. If one maid is looking after the children. No, the nannies are. The nanny. But the maid is doing the laundry, the other yeah. maid can wash dishes. Because the chef is just cooking. God damn! Do you so want to change your what? answer, babe? Do you, Do you want to change your answer? I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. You, <laughs> you really have one. <laughs> you can come. <laughs> I'll come to your house. <laughs> you know, you, you, you're just as rich, babe. Yeah. <laughs> get your own. <laughs> <laughs> you can get one, too. <laughs> you get one. You get one. You get one. Okay. Living like that. Masha Allah. Uh, yep. Wow, mashallah, mashallah, Allah, 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 everything, mashallah, Allah, 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 definitely one day for us, inshallah, 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 love that for her, yeah, yeah, wowza, yo, there's so much more, but let's not get into that, because we ain't trying to share people's business, but just know, oh, yeah, 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 okay, I have to ask the list, gardener, oh, yes, true, gardener, and I want a garden patch, so the gardener, refurbishes the fridge with fresh vegetables hey, and fruits. Yeah, hey, yeah. Another thing that she has. <laughs> MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Yeah. Wow. MashaAllah. Um, Wait, you could you could do that though. What do you mean? Dubai? UAE? Oh, well, I know a lot a lot about UAE. Yeah? I don't know about other... You mean have a countries? garden and then eat off of your garden? Yeah, I think you could wait. Yeah, but I'm UAE sure. though, it's just very... Deserty, so I don't know. You guys about tell us if you're living in the UAE, is that a normal thing? I find it so fascinating. I, alhamdulillah, Allah Mubarak, I love my life. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Uh, laundry Stay. never ends. I'm spread extremely thin. <laughs> I'm the cook, the maid. I'm actually hire a cleaner huh? Huh? because, but that that's the one yeah. thing I do that I feel like after your 30s, if you can do it, do it do once it. a week. Uh, I'm the cook, I'm the maid, I'm the house manager, I'm the boss chick, the boss chick, I'm the mom of two. I'm constantly folding laundry in my meetings. Yes. I'm the wife. Yeah. So, yeah, we all play these roles, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are freaking awesome. Yeah, we are. Mashallah. Mm, mashallah. No, you know what? I'm going to tax a lot. them. We should tax them. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm sorry. Let's, 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 what are we doing? We say we're business women, but are we really business women? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My, my money is my money. Your money is your money. No, wait. It's my money yeah. plus taxes. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever she said, I don't agree. <laughs> plus the taxes, okay? No, there needs to no, be some true, sort though. of tax. So. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm very liberal. True, 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 true. I, I'm not very That's much true. like selfish, selfish me, whatever. I think they love it, though. They do. Because we, we manage it much better than Because they're so... Yeah. I'm sorry. We, I'm we sorry. They're, they're so... They're so unaware of managing yeah. that. They're good at making it. I think we were bought here to help them with that. And to spend it for them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we say this is what the podcast is not going to be about? <laughs> we literally, guys, we were like, okay, so this podcast, you know how they're like, oh, my money, my money, your money, my money. Blah, 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 blah. No, we're going to be mature, okay? We're going to keep it real. In this yeah. economy... Let's be real, because yeah. we want your marriages to last, babes. Yeah, that's true. So, but then where is it here that mm, taxes, actually? Add taxes. Write it down. <laughs> no. But it's true, though. We do help them. We do. We help the family. We do. Yeah. We are the family. Yeah. We are the pillar that raises, that lifts the family up. 100%. You guys are amazing. It doesn't matter your circumstance. Exactly. Are you kidding me? So you mean to say you're doing the three maid thing? You're cooking, you're cleaning, you're house managing, everything. 
you need the credit, babes. I know. Mashallah. Mashallah, Mubarak. Yes to us. Yes. We're strong. We're strong. We're amazing. That's why if they don't text back, you're like, huh, whose loss is it? Exactly. Their loss. Are you, are you mad, bro? Lo- <laughs> why do I hear Amir in there? Because yeah. <laughs> he taught me. <laughs> so it's the- time for take home after every session we told ourselves we're gonna have a take homes aspect of our podcast yeah ladies what are the take homes that we've learned from this podcast a if they don't text back you, you better, better forget, forget about, about that. that two if he wanted to he would yeah three be confident in yourself confidence is every darn thing is the key be the lulu if you want to... I'm really struggling with the rhymes today. <laughs> I'm like, mm, it's coming to me, it's coming to me, it's not coming, it's yeah. not coming. <laughs> we all know that. Confidence is key. It's key. Always bring it back to confidence. Yeah. What do you want? You're not going to get it yeah. until you're confident. Mm-hmm. Just think about it as you were talking to a friend of yours. Yeah. Not even like someone you about to speak to. Yeah. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got too comfortable. <laughs> Take home number four self-respect like know your what you're worth because yeah. that's key stop caring what they'll think of you because the funny thing is you probably ain't even gonna deal with them after that sentence that you send yeah so just say what you need to say why aren't you texting me back i thought we had a good time together or um yo Whoa, mom he wait, tried wait, to touch wait, me wait oh. <laughs> what sorry <laughs> say that sentence again i think that's a bit too forward what why aren't you texting me back yeah gonna- yeah is it? It's been a while, guys. I'm a say bit that, <laughs> Wait, say that again. <laughs> I would be like... <laughs> why are you texting back? Because I thought we had a good time. Yeah. Yeah, that would be forward for me. That would be a bit too forward. I mean, for me. I don't know. I'm very forward. For me. Don't, don't be asking I know, me, guys. I'll tell you exactly how it is. I swear it's, it's the ADHD or the TISM. One of them. <laughs> why aren't you texting me back? But just say it in a way that's a little more cash. Yeah. Also, if they have a problem with you being forward like that, you're not messing around. If anything, I'd respect you more. And if I was a dude, I'd most likely respect you more as That's well. True. Because this girl knows what she wants. She's not wasting time. True, true. I'm not it, or I'm definitely down for it. True. Yeah. That's think... what that girl really like. Flashlights. Like I was just so happy for her. I was holding up a sign like "You got yeah. this, honey," because she was just like, "Okay, this, well, this wasn't her first rodeo," and she was like, "This is what I want." Is it going to be a problem? And also, not only was she verbally communicating, she was, like, non-verbally watching for any cues. Was he, like, uncomfortable mm-hmm. to a point where he's not going to be able to fulfill that and he wants to get out of there? Or how is he going to lie? Yeah. Or was he genuinely like, oh, I'm taking back. But you know what? I respect that because I actually have the same values. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's she, very like, true. threw him in the ring. And did he sink or did he swim? So confidence is everything, guys. That's true. That's our take home. And the last take home is don't think there's no one else. Don't be discouraged. Do not settle. No, do not. Unless you're being unrealistic. If they're doing something yeah. like groping you up and you're feeling bad, you're like, mm, let me think about it. Are you are you nuts? That's God sending you a sign. No, 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 no. We're gonna we're not gonna allow that. Thank you guys for watching the maturity and I hope you enjoyed this. And make sure you subscribe, like, and comment below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.